Happy to have you along. As always, we are joined by Greg Angert, beer director for the Neighborhood Restaurant Group, a James Beard Award nominee. I heard you picked up another honor. Is that true? Yes. We'll talk about that in a moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a James Beard Award nominee as well. The group includes Vermilion in Old Town and Eat Bar in Arlington. Greg, always good to see you. Good to see you too. What is on tap this week? So uh, this week, I figured it was about time that we did a, a beer from the uh, classic Bear Republic Brewing Company out of uh, Healdsburg, California in Sonoma County. Uh, this is Richard Norgrove's baby. I started this back in the mid-90s, 95, and um, it's just... Uh, just has always been one of my um, favorite and one of many people's kind of most favorite um, Californian uh, beers. One of the reasons why I think is because Bear Republic was kind of ahead of the curve. I mean, I feel like I was seeing Bear Republic beers on the East Coast, uh, yeah, especially in this I area, think, kind yeah. of before a lot of others. Um, and uh, they make fantastic stuff. I think they're the uh, they're a pretty large brewery and brew pub at this point, um, still family owned and operated. Um, I think they're in like 34th biggest brewery, uh, craft brewer in the country, um, but they do it their own way, and uh, it's uh, great stuff. Racer Five is probably the most famous, definitely the most famous Bear Republic beer out there. It's become one of the most classic West Coast uh, style IPAs around. Um, I think it makes up something like 75% of their output annually is wow. just Racer Five, which is. A testament to the beer, but also great for the company. Yeah, it's one of those beers that you see on draft somewhere, and maybe you don't know anything else, and you're not feeling experimental at the moment, and you go, I'll have a racer. Fire. Every, I mean, guarantee you, you, it's, it's, one it's a, a go-to. Yeah. And like, it's funny, too, that you said that, because I remember years ago, I went out to uh, San Francisco uh, one time for one of the trips I was out there for, and I was blown away um, by how... I think I, in my head, I think I say something like Racer Five is like the uh, the Budweiser of San Francisco. I mean, every bar, whether it was or every re fine dining uh, or you know dive bar, wine bar, cocktail bar, beer bar, everybody was pouring super fresh Racer Five, you know, for five bucks a pint, and it was just one of those things. I mean, it, it's an amazing beer, but it's a it's a definitely a fantastic standby. You gotta love seeing restaurants supporting their home state breweries. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, they should do that. So and that, that is, is it cool. is one of the best. So, the cool thing though about Bear Republic is they make a lot of beers we don't see out here. I mean, I guess that's not the cool part. It's cool for, <laughs> cool for them, um, but uh, but luckily for us, they have started to um, generously ship out here and there smaller batches of some of the amazing stuff that you see in their home territory and definitely at the brew pub. Uh, and they have kind of a, a really amazing series going based around uh, Racer 5 right now. So um, for those of, of you who have been lucky enough to taste something like Racer X, which is the Imperial IPA version of Racer 5, uh, that's phenomenal. We see that sparingly out here, but it's delicious. Uh, they make, um, uh, I think it's called Cafe Racer 15, which is an anniversary beer for them. It comes out every now and, uh, now and then. It's called, they refer to it as uh, Cafe Racer. Another amazing Pure IPA. And uh, we just got some uh, kegs and cases of Black Racer out on the East Coast, and that's what we're uh, tasting today. We've had a couple Black IPAs over the yeah. past year and four months or so. Oh, that's real Tasty, nice. Yeah. A little bit of smoke. Am I tasting yeah, a little bit of smoke? Yeah, that's that roast coming through. Okay. And if you hold it up, it's just it's the not right pitch amount. black. It's got a little right. bit of twenty amber on the on the uh, on the edges. But yeah, it's um, you know, black IPA. There's it's a lot of names now, but it seems like people are settling into black IPA. Uh, some people have had a problem with that because it seems like an oxymoron. How can something be black and pale? I India pale ale at the same time. But uh, the the idea here is that. Expand it is your mind. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah, exactly. It's an IPA with some crystal or caramelized malt and, and roasted malt added. So the malt bill changes, but the IPA hop bill stays the same. Other names for it are um, American Black Ale, Cascadian Dark Ale, which is what Pacific Northwest brewers have called it for a long time. Uh, I've always stuck with Black IPA because I'm, I firmly believe that Greg Noonan, uh, uh, who is the, the guy who, well, got brew. Brew pubs legalized in Vermont, started Vermont Pub and Brewery, unfortunately passed away uh, a few years back. Um, big, big time uh, guy for, for American craft brewing. 
he, I think, really brewed the first black IPA up in Vermont Pub and Brewery. And in fact, um, his memory and his beer is honored today as Smutty Nose Brewing Company out of Portsmouth, New Hampshire, uh, has recently released their, uh, um, more of their black IPA called Noonan in Greg's honor. So yeah, this is the black IPA uh, style. It's good. It's really good. Now, I'm immediately thinking um, it'd be good with a nice salmon steak yeah. um, from the grill. What would you oh, pair yeah. this I mean, that, with? That'd be, that, that sounds awesome. I think also, this is, uh, this is great with fried chicken. Fried chicken and donuts, <laughs> which we serve at a restaurant in D.C. called GBD now. Um, Just by chance. Um, but uh, that would be really great. Uh, but, yeah, um, uh, Cajun stuff, black yeah, and yeah, yeah. black and would be um, fantastic. You know, the roast here is big. Bitterness is there, too, but you've got a great kind of piney herbal quality. It's not as intense as it is in, like, say, like, Wookie Jack from Firestone Walker, which is, like, I mean, an amazing beer, but super huge on, like, the, the grassy, dank quality in the nose. This is a little bit more restrained, and I think, therefore, probably a little bit more uh, food-friendly as well. This would be good with a spice I have in one of our cabinets from Istanbul, and I have no idea what the spice is, so how helpful is that? <laughs> Um, yeah, but yeah, yeah it does no, have it, a. It, the, what is the called, Cajun, you, you yeah, yeah, Cajun, you know. and, and also like the the malt roast seems like it would be a great base to spice. It wouldn't it, it wouldn't interfere. It would work nice as a kind of complementing contrast with that. Uh, is this fairly easy to find, or should you be grabbing it when you see it? Um, I think around here. I mean, I think around here it's 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 one and done. So it's out now, and you'll see it around. Um, there's quite, quite a bit of it on the market, okay. but yeah, definitely check it out. And it's you know. Definitely want to drink it fresh. You want that hop character, but um, but yeah, it's not, not super difficult, not super rare. And you talk about um, Racer Five; they're pretty big. Uh, we talked a bit last week about a number of breweries that are expanding. Uh, we talked about you talked about uh, some pretty healthy growth in the craft beer industry. Um, and how long? I mean, Four hundred breweries opened roughly last year. Some forty closed. How long can a can a growth rate like that uh, be sustained? Uh, I mean, I don't know. If we knew I mean, that, Americans, <laughs> Americans are great at making babies, and beer sometimes helps. Yes. Uh, uh, so as long as if the I population think, gets bigger, but so here's the here's the this in just in the simplest terms, what you have to look at is the fact that craft beer is huge right now. It's all over the place. You're seeing it popping up in more places than it has been before. But we have to remind ourselves too that you know we're in an urban setting. In this area, you tend to see um, our, our supermarkets are stocking craft beer. Certain other areas in the country are not remotely like us. And, and to the thing, yeah, the yeah, other point yeah. is that, you know, in spite of the growth, in spite of the fact that it seems like everywhere you turn now, there's craft beer everywhere, it still only accounts, even after a robust increase in 2012, it's only accounting for 6.5% of the beer volume sold in the United States is craft beer, which is, I mean, that's, it's kind of crazy to me because I think it's everywhere now. I'm swimming in craft beer, but it's still, even with those shelves packed tight with countless brands, it's still only 6.5%. The rest being um, imports and then macro brewed beers. And the overall uh, numbers for beer growth last year were only 0.9%. So the beer numbers are kind of stagnant. Craft is growing. I mentioned before, uh, last week that uh, we grew in 2011 um, I think it was 11% by volume, 13% by dollars. Well, then 2012, it was 15 and 17, respectively. And that's, that's a healthy increase. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, all, I mean, so that's all positive. But now let's look at it this way. We had roughly 2,000 breweries at the end of 2011. At the end of 2012, there were 2,350 or so. That is because 400 opened and 40 closed. That is a giant jump. And not all of them are, are production facilities at all. They're mostly brew pubs. Uh, but that's a giant jump, and it's going to just keep going. I mean, we're going to see as many as many open, if not probably more, this year, and it looks like it's just going to keep happening. In the meantime, the brewers that are entrenched are rapidly expanding. You know, it's not like Sierra Nevada and and Oscar Blues, uh, you know, are are sitting still while new brewers are coming in and accounting for some growth. They're having mild growth. No, they're building new breweries and looking to expand. Now we were talking about Avery Brewing Company is in the middle of a giant expansion that's gonna make them a national powerhouse brewery and uh, you do wonder um, what's gonna happen. The one last thing I'll say is that local is, is big. Um, you know, it's kinda like, the, the, the only beer I would say is gonna succeed at least in the short term in any market 
kind of regardless of, of, of quality in, in some ways, is local. Because if it's local, it's new and local, people want to buy it. There's that automatic thing. But over time, if that local beer is not as flavorful as an out-of-market beer, it's not going to continue to grow. So um, I think that you're going to, I don't think the numbers are, I think you're going to keep seeing a steady increase in our portion um, of the beer market, but I'm not sure how 3,000 breweries could be sustained in that kind of growth with the existing breweries expanding rapidly. Well, hopefully they'll be around for a long time, and so will we doing this, and yeah, we'll right, talk yeah. about it later. Well, beer will if never you, go away. If you, yeah, well, I, I, I do feel confident in that, which makes me sleep well at night. Yeah, and better beer is always going to be yeah. there. I think yeah. that's the other thing is that sometimes less is more. I mean, there's so much stuff on the shelves. We talk about this all the time, like Racer 5, for instance. If I walk into, um, if I'm in a, a foreign territory, you know, I'm in somebody else's hometown, and I walk into a store, and I cannot garner information on some beers that I don't recognize, I'm going to look at Freshest, and I'm going to go back to something yeah. I know, because I, I really don't want to be disappointed. Right, right. If you've got a question for Greg, please let us know. We will have him answer it. The uh, email address you should use is beer of the week at WTOP.com. Greg, thank you as thank always. You. We appreciate it. Everyone, please always do drink responsibly and be sure to bring your thirst next time for another Beer of the Week.